hey again welcome back for another video so today i'm going to be talking about my piercings and my tattoos that i have um i honestly lost track of how many i have because some of them are like hidden that i don't even like remember that I have them. but yeah i'm gonna talk about my tattoos and my piercings so first and foremost and my scars I almost forgot my scars too because i definitely got scars from these piercings um not all of them but some of them i did so first let's do tattoos because i think that'll be a little easier so this one it says always forgive never forget this was actually a tattoo that i got with my family members like two of my family members and this was this was definitely my first tattoo i have to think about it sorry but yeah this was definitely my first tattoo ever and it definitely didn't hurt it felt like a different kind of pain though my my pain tolerance is a little high i guess i would say but i don't like pain so i don't know where that that fits me in the criteria but um i was good um but yeah <clears throat> my next one is this one which is true of life you know when I first got this, I was trying to be all original and creative and I was trying to be like, it's the tree of growth because I'm all about, you know, I'm all about growing, changing, evolving. And everybody was like, that's a tree of life. And I'm just like, okay, if you say so. But it's still, you know, a tree of growth in my eyes. Okay? So, next one is, let me, hold on, I guess I can do this one. So this is my other tattoo. It's supposed to be a lotus flower. Um, but yeah. And the sad part about this one is this isn't even the one that I ended up wanting to get. But my tattoo artist at the time was not really great with words or whatever. So... He gave me the wrong one and it's like yeah so this one is another one I'm not too fond of now <clears throat> um i showed you guys three okay this is the next one it's if i can get my hip in there it's a blue rose tattoo with a green stem of course so this one when i first got that one it actually blew out yeah day two it blew out and i have to go back and get it fixed my um tattoo artist was trying to say like it was the the area that area is just like really sensitive and it tends to blow out a lot so i was like great mind you i hadn't been tatted in like a couple years previous to that one so i was like oh my god okay I also have another one like right in here. Um, I can attempt to show y'all. I see it like right here. Sorry, I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to. And this reads, I am everything in Arabic. Well, this is my next one. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a um, spaceship because Okay, just kidding. But yeah, it's a spaceship. I've always wanted like a little alien just because I feel like I'm so different from everybody in the world and I just wanted something to, you know, get on my body to show that I'm a little different. Even though I am the difference, I don't really need tattoos to tell me that. But yeah, I like it. It's so cute. That one actually hurt. Not like, boo hoo, uh, I'm crying. It hurt, but it hurt. Like, I didn't expect it to hurt because I was like, yo, it's my ankle. Like, I'll be fine. Don't worry about that. And then, and then my tattoo started drunk. I'm like, Ugh. I'm like, what are you using back there? A pickaxe? But yeah, we survived. I survived to tell the tale. Okay, next one is. Ooh, I don't know if I could get this one. This one. <laughs> This one says, stay golden. And yeah, I got that one a while ago. 
Um, one of my favorites, actually. But I might get it, like, adjusted so that way it's, like, more fresh. And last but not least is my favorite tattoo. This is an owl. This, honest, like, the detail on this is crazy. Like, I love this one so much. And my tattoo artist was able to nail it. Like, the whole picture down to a T. This is, this is literally my favorite tattoo that I have right now. Um, I definitely do want to get more. I, I can't say that I will or, you know, I can't say that I won't. I definitely want to get, like, a back tattoo, like a spinal tattoo from my back. And maybe, like, one on my leg. Like, my thigh area. Let's move on to piercings. So, my first piercing. Just kidding. This, this is not my first piercing. But at one point, I did have my belly button pierced. And this is one of the scars that I got. It was definitely a lot smaller. But over time, it definitely grew. So I got keloids. Not too fond of these. But I don't like, I don't hide them. Because, you know, what are you going to do? You get one life. All you can do is be you. So, yeah, I'm not fond of them. But it's on, my, it's on me. So that, I just have to take it all in, you know? All right, so next piercings so this one snake eyes this one i got after i passed my driver's test when i was like i'm gonna say like 19 maybe i think i was 19 and I'll never forget, like, I was pulling out, like, after I had passed, and they gave me the okay, and I was driving, like, back home, and some person on the road was like, they were like, um, <clears throat> they were like, what are you doing, you, and I was like, like, do you not know that this is an area where people practice their driver's test? like damn like people are always so quick to just ruin somebody else's joy because they ain't got nothing going for themselves but yeah right after that i went in Pew! and i remember my piercer after he did it i didn't i didn't um i think i just made a sound i was like mm, but i didn't like like scream or like, I don't know, like pull away when he was trying to do it and after after he like did everything like cleaned it up he was like you did such a good job most people scream and i was like eh, thanks like i okay why would you tell me that sir and another thing that happened that was crazy about this piercing in particular still about this piercing so me and my mom we ended up moving into an apartment like a few years back a long time ago like a long long time ago when i got this done and <clears throat> we're sitting there in the in the house with the landlords and they're going over the lease and you know talking to us about blah 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 and all of a sudden i feel like you know like i just felt like a weird taste in my mouth i'm like yo what is that i'm like so I do the like the the test and I look at my hand and it's blood and I'm like I'm like yo I'm, I'm bleeding right now. Mind you, this was like three to four weeks later. Like if I was going to have like some kind of reaction, I thought it would have been like right away. I didn't think it was gonna be like weeks or months later. So that happened. So I had to um at the time we were at the um apartment underneath the main entrance because it was like a it was like a three. A, no like a four prong house there was like a main a main area that had like a i think i'm gonna say like one or two bedrooms and there was an upstairs that had a one bedroom downstairs that had a one bedroom and then the side that had two bedrooms which is where we were gonna stay so 
I run in there, I grab the key, I, I like tap my mouth frantically. I'm like, I'm like, I need a key. I need a key. <laughs> she's like, she's like, what's wrong with you? She's like, I'm trying to do this lease so we can, you know, have somewhere to go. And um, I'm over here acting a fool with blood dripping in my mouth. I'm trying to, I'm like, yo, I don't think that I'm crazy or that like, you know, I'm doing stuff I shouldn't be because that wasn't the case at all. So I get the keys, I fumble with the locks, I get in and I, you out like all this blood that was just piling up in my mouth in the sink brand new sink that bathroom was just redone and everything like they had just redid everything in there and i'm like i was just shocked i was like wow like i don't even know what to say i was just standing there so i just kept running water under it water under it and then i eventually like you know i cleaned the sink out and then i went back upstairs to finalize the lease with my mom and um yeah after that like it was fine like i never had any issues with any blood or anything like that or you know anything super crazy or anything like that um healing was okay healing didn't take too long i want to say i was good in like a week i didn't really have trouble eating um because when i thought about getting a tongue piercing i was i was never thinking about the one in the middle like the original one mainly because i was like i like to eat first of all so if i have to be restrictive of my food intake i am going to be you know i'm gonna be mad like i i can't i can't deal with that so i was like what about sneak guys because then i could just like scoop it onto my tongue and i was fine i didn't have any issues or anything like that the only thing that i'm not really too fond of with this is i definitely like bite down and chomp down on it a few times and when i do it's like really hard i'm pretty sure that i've, I've like cracked the tooth because of it so i definitely i definitely don't say that i would recommend it considering like unless you don't mind like those incidents happening but sometimes i'm talking when i eat or sometimes i'm just you know in the moment and i'm like yo this was good i'm like i'm like like oops excuse my language so but yeah like i've definitely bitten down on this ball a few times and this ball has like un like unspun itself too but i haven't ever swallowed the ball so yeah this one i don't know like your judgment honestly this is that's up to you um my next piercings are my nose my nostrils one here one here this one i got when i was 15. this one i want to say i got like a year ago a year and a few months ago something like that something of that essence um this one is oh my god i have like a love-hate relationship with my nose person because i know when i got this one i definitely had a bump that had like you know like pus inside which was annoying um i just use alcohol on it every day and i know that's not what you're supposed to use but i was 15 i was like you know I'll, i'm like alcohol work for everything else so when it comes to bacteria so i'm like it's gonna it's gonna kill the germs i wasn't thinking of like you know i need to do something for specifically for tattoos because i'm like where am i gonna get money for that from like i'm <laughs> you know what i mean so i did that it went down there's no scars or anything it healed nicely this one i'm telling you so my problem is when i get new piercings i end up laying on them like even if i try not to i'll somehow still end up on them so this one one day i woke up and my nose was swollen like puffy and it was like like when i would squeeze it it would like ooze a little like blood and pus and i was like oh my god like i can never have just one good piercing where i don't have these issues I'm, my rejection rate is literally through the roof like the littlest amount of like pressure during the healing process or anything it just, it's so hard for my body to recover from that so yeah but i ended up just you know cleaning it i had um this tattoo product that i got like tattoo spray i forgot what um what the name of it is and i had like tattoo balm and all that stuff and you can use it for piercings too so i was using that to spray it to clean it out make sure i was clean there was no infection or anything like that and i also used um it's like a salt solution and 
there's like a whole bunch of ingredients in it and you just like dilute it with water and I would put that on my nose too as well so yeah um, I'll I'll drop it in the comments just in case anybody needs it or anybody wants to know what I'm talking about specifically so yeah <clears throat> but now this one seems to be okay sometimes I have a little bit of pain but for the most part I just try not to lay on it because my healing process I feel like it takes like years for me to heal from piercings um, next one ears of course I mean this is this is from when I was a baby so all right so then I have this one and then I have these two so this one after I got this one I was like I'm done I'm never getting another person again that one hurt that one hurt the most out of everything like I was shocked I really thought that I thought that like something else that I had gotten would be like a higher pain value, but it definitely wasn't. This one still to this day was super painful and it took like a while for it to heal. And I feel like my body only does well with hoops, which is why you see so many hoops because whenever I have studs, they always poke me or they like, they push down on the piercing, which doesn't really give it much room to heal for me. Um, I'm not sure if that's true for anybody else. I mean, I guess it's okay if you're, if you're fully healed from it, but I like even when I use studs they get um they get like stuck which I don't like so I would probably use them for like photo shoots or you know anything like that but I don't know how to actually keep it in because they just don't work for me which is why I have so many hoops in my ears now because when I had like studs in here they were not healing it was taking 50 years for it to heal the back piece would be pressed up against it and it'd be all red and I'm like, I'm like nah I can't so I just ended up switching to hoops which has made it so much easier. Sometimes I do wish I had like, a little bit of studs. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wish I had a little bit of studs, but it's okay. So, and then I had, so I had my vertical tragus. And unfortunately, it's gone as you can see. So that's what this scar is. And so when I took it out, when I took this, this piercing out, had it wasn't healed it was like like still red it was kind of like oozy but i had just like i was like it's not healing you know I, I even got like these little guards like there was like these ring guards that you could put around this so that way the metal wouldn't rub right against the piercing holes and it still didn't work it so i was like i'm just gonna take it out because what's the point in fighting with it if my body is like literally not going to give me a chance at all and try to give me um a second thought in healing these piercings so i just took it out and that's what happened and it definitely has gotten bigger over time sometimes it gets a little itchy and irritating it's uh it's annoying first and foremost more than anything just because you know nobody wants to have a scar on their body that they just don't want there. I mean, I don't like having these things on my body, but what can I do about it right now? I don't have money to get them moved. And even if you get them removed via surgery, it is super expensive because I have looked into it and it is like so expensive. And I think, I think just one ranges from like 5k to 8k and then that's um, in New York. And I was like, click. Like, I honestly, I hung up the phone because I, I can't afford that, realistically. So, yeah. Um, that's also the the reason that my belly button piercing didn't heal was because I took it out. I should have learned the first time not to take it out before it was healed for this one. But I was like, you know, maybe it's because it's in a different area. Nope, still didn't work. So, moving on to the next side same i have one here one here i did not get another one up here instead i got my rope pierced so my rope piercing did not hurt anymore it used to get oh my God, it used to get affected a lot and again i think it's because i was like laying on it frequently even when i realized like i didn't realize that i was laying on it and it would get like super inflamed it would get puffy it would get itchy it would ooze a lot and yeah um but honestly, since I took out the the bar, because I had the original bar, like the curved bar, kind of like this one, and I took it out and I put a hoop in instead, and I haven't had any issues since. Like none at all. But then again, I don't lay on it. 
at all. Like I don't, I never lay on them anymore because I always feel like they're not fully healed. Like even if I had it for 15 years, I'm like, mm, can't trust it. So yeah. And then also, I have this tiny little scar for my vertical tragus that I got here because I was foolish enough to try to do it again. This one, so. When I had this, this one was fine. I don't really have like too many issues with this one. And then like I was in the bathroom one day and I was just brushing my hair, la la la, and skirt, brushed it out. It did not hurt. I didn't have any pain or anything like that. I just brushed it out. And I was like, yeah, I'm done. So yeah, I've had a few horrific incidences but i did come out alive in one piece and i am happy with the ones that i do have and the ones that you know make me feel good so um but yeah <laughs> if you have any questions or any recommendations that you did that was different for your aftercare for any piercings or tattoo, let me know in the comments below thank you guys for tuning in and listening to me rant all day <laughs> and i hope to see you guys in the next one bye